Hey guys, this week we're trekking out, trekking? Checking out Dragon Island in my endless trek through every single uh, free visual novel, of which there are infinite. See, I saved it. That's that's why I said trekking. Dear Mr. Henry Heimlich, congratulations on becoming the lifeguard for Dragon Island Summer Party trademark. Dragon Island trademark, only trademark the second time it's said though, is committing to providing irreplaceable professional services to our guests. We believe that your professional skills will meet the requirements of our guests. We have chosen to hire you not only for your professionalism, but also for other reasons. It's because you're gay. We hope that you will give full play to your strengths in your work. Tickets for the Fairy to Dragon Island TM are enclosed with this letter. Please show up at the Ferry of Dragon Island Ferry Co., not trademarked, on time. Gordon Danom. Where do I click here? Let's see, just anywhere, probably. <clears throat> Off the southern coast of the Republic of Shang, there's a private island resort called Dragon Island. VIPs, celebrities, and wealthy elite are invited there each, uh, every summer to indulge in the pleasures of life on the beautiful beach. I never dreamed I'd see it for myself, much less go there in person, but... Wait, you thought I got an invitation? <laughs> as if that had ever happened. I'm just working there as a lifeguard. Of course, everyone said I was lucky that my resume was the one they picked. But I'm not sure if it was just luck. It's my fat hawk. Oh, wait, I should probably introduce myself. I'm Henry Heimlich. I'm 33 years old. And I used to work at the, the Sun City Swimming Center as a lifeguard. As a shark dragon, I'm considered to be pretty exotic, even for a place like Sun City, so I tend to stand out. But after so many years, I've gotten used to the relaxed pace of life here. He's actively moving. Look at that, the, the, that's an interesting setup for the sprite. All kinds of people of different species from all over the world come to Sun City, for one reason or another, be it for business, pleasure, or just passing through. Many of them stick around and settle here due to the place's comfortable and tolerant atmosphere. That includes me, by the way. Phone available now. Let's go over to the phone. Hello. Arknights is just on here. <laughs> What happens if I click on Arknights? Oop. Arch Arch Knights. Ha. <laughs> oh, well, we tried. Woohoo. Isn't that what it's called when you have sex in The Sims? That's me in the photo DM. Oop. Santiago. Is extremely near. All these people are extremely nearby, and that person's not. Some of them are less extremely nearby than others. Are these the creators of the game? Who are all these people? The art styles are changing. Um, yeah, yeah, no, they, yeah. They're they're all added. They all have ads. So these are either creators or Patreon supporters or some kind of something like that. Because these are all like. Real specific. Anyway, a uh, bit. Oh, back button up here. Uh, Fumbler. Chomp King. Just an entire. Yeah, no, it's just an entire social media feed. By the way, when I launched this game, it launched not in English, and I had to find my way to the English menu uh, the hard way. That was a process. Anyway. But right now, I'm taking a bumpy bus ride to Sun City Pier. Both the offer letter and the ferry ticket to Dragon Island that came with it said to be there by 2 p.m. sharp, so I need to get there as soon as possible. If I miss the boat, I'll be missing out on more than just a paycheck. The offer letter also said that I was selected for other reasons. Oh. Oh boy. Buddy, buddy. <laughs> when I read that, I couldn't help but think. Next time you do any part-time work at the beach, be sure to avoid anyone with a camera. That's 
That's not applicable advice. That's not what part-time work at the beach means. Greetings, passengers. This is your... Sorry. Greetings, passengers. This is your Captain Castro speaking. Welcome aboard the Sun City tour bus. I accidentally hit a button. That ah, I'm bad at juggling devices. Am I okay? We're... Bleh. How did I screw this up so bad? For your safety, please remain seated while the bus is in motion. Thank you, and enjoy your time in Sun City. The broadcast on the bus tirelessly, uh, tirelessly replayed over and over again. Y you mean that message, or like a video somewhere? That'd be horrible to hear that one, those two sentences on loop. I look to the front of the bus. The, ba the black dragon with indigo horns and a uniform is driving forward with concentration. So the translation might be a little rough. <laughs> Another sudden and violent bump. I was nearly knocked out of my seat. Captain, did you slow down a bit? Oops. Didn't even remember that there's someone else in the car. I'm sorry. Are you car sick? Why don't you sit in the front? Castro held up the brim of his hat, turned his head towards me, and smiled. Uh... Thanks, Captain. Ha! <laughs> Just call me Castro. The bus sped past a sharp curve. Castro jerked the steering wheel. The speed of the bus remained fast, dumping the tail over the curve. Ah! I clung to the bus handrail, struggling to try and maintain my balance in the aisle. Hurry up and sit down. We're only just started. The road ahead is even bumpier. I wish I could. I sat down on the front seat, not daring to let my guard down. Continued to hold on to the handrail in front of me. If only there were seat belts on buses. Did you, did you... you drive this drive this fast all the time? Isn't it a bit dangerous? No worries. I don't drive fast in town. I let I just let loose on the mountain roads. Wouldn't that be more dangerous? Take it easy. I'll slow down a bit since I'm carrying you in the bus now. Just get there by two o'clock. I have a ferry to catch. Got a ferry to catch. Could it be that? Am I carrying a guest who received an invitation to Dragon Island? A very unique and interesting name to give a place where seemingly everyone is a dragon? Circles are dragons, right? Circles are dragons. Also, if you watched the My Fear and Hunger Terminal playthrough and you, were, and you were confused why we freaked out when there was a circle in the game, this is why. That's a circle. Like, it's an extremely furry fandom -y creature that you do not randomly expect to see in a dark fantasy game out of nowhere. That's extremely strange that it was in there. And that's why we, we reacted that way. But I think this might be the first visual novel I've played that actually shows a circle, which are they're they're interesting. They're basically like a dragon that, from what I heard, remember, is like inspired by plane designs. But the association people mostly have with them is that their head looks like a cheese wedge. They're also fuzzy, unlike usual dragon designs usually. <clears throat> it's just a gig as a lifeguard on the island. I took out the envelope and waved it at him. That sounds good enough. It'd be even better if I could get promoted because of my performance. Unfortunately, they probably won't recruit new staff recently. They won't recently. Yeah, the, the translation's a little rough. After a while, Dragon Island will not be open for public for at least two or three years. Why is that? It is said to protect the tropical fish and coral near the island or something. Okay, the translation's very rough. <laughs> Anyway, enjoy your trip here. Maybe you are the last ones who board Dragon Island. Phew. I never thought I'd catch the last train. That is a bit presumptuous, but I think he's... I think I've, I've seen you on Woohoo. Oh, use that app too. Maybe we can follow each other. Or maybe care to exchange phone numbers? Normally I'd say no, but I'm kind of curious what it's like on the island, so... I'm overtly using you to get information. That's just a whole number. Give it a call, everybody, see what happens! Uh, uh alright. 
By the way, Castro, do you know what's on Dragon Island? Me? Never been back. I've never been there. I only drive to the Sun City Pier, take a break, then drive back. I see. I thought you could go to the dock side and take a, a peek while taking breaks. You can't see Dragon Island from the pier, and it would take hours to drive there by speedboat. Not many people ride this, ride this bus line, right? Quite a lot, but when they get to Quing Long Mount Forest Park, most of them get off. For the next few stops, the bus is almost empty. I thought as a tour line, the bus would be full of tourists all the, all the way to, the, to Sun City Pier. Tourists on group tours have their own buses. That's just the wrong there. And those who send vac spend vacation on Dragon Island privately needn't take the bus. So why even have a station at the pier? Someone might still take the bus to the pier? Like you? There's also commuting needs for the pier workers, the neighborhood shopkeepers, and the staff on the island. Indeed. Do Wait a minute. What time did you say you should be at the pier? Two o'clock? Hold tight. I'm speeding up. A strong thrust came from the back of the seat, almost causing me to bump into the railing in front of me. What? Thrust? Back? Railing? It... It doesn't have to be that fast. Find a favorite song and we'll be there when it's over. Just pick a one minute song. <gasps> We're gonna die! I shakily pulled out my phone and tried to drown out the roar of the engine with the sound of stirring music. Don't look out the window if you get car sick. This is a bad idea. Okay, okay. I closed my eyes tightly and tried to let my consciousness wander off to other places. Next stop, Sun City Pier, the final stop of this bus. Please get off at the back door. Please be careful when the door is opening. The lurch of the bus coming to a sudden stop at the pier shook me out of my thoughts. A slightly salty sea breeze blew th in through the window I had rolled down. Castor turned the key, and the dull, vibrating roar of the bus's engines was replaced by the soft sound of waves. The port didn't have a whole lot of greenery, and the summer sun was shining brightly down on us. I adjusted the broom of my hat and carefully held onto the railings as I ex 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 exited the bus. That one's on me. The gray-blue water lapped at the long, dull gray concrete dike, while the boats bolted to the bollards sw <laughs> swaying with the waves. Is that intentional alliteration? That was a lot. Why, hello. You were the closest contact. It said that you were 0.1 miles away, which or kilometers away, which seems unlikely given that we had to take a bus to get here. Good afternoon. Are you a guest invited to Dragon Island? Please board the Misty Dragon and enjoy your exclusive vacation. While I was staring at the sea, Anne Bighorn Goat, wearing orange safety, sa orange, orange safety vest, approached me and struck up a conversation. We got trans rep. May I ask who you are? Oh. I forgot to introduce myself. Look at me. I'm the dock manager here. Just call me Santiago. I'm Henry. I'm just working part-time as a lifeguard. So you're my co-worker. Welcome. Before I could hand over the invitational letter, Santiago dropped the formalities and gave me a big hug. Ugh. Are we co-workers? Yeah. Whether it's the dock, the ship, or Dragon Island itself, they all belong to the same company. Then I just happened then I just happened to have a question for you. Do you recognize this name on the letter? I handed the invitation letter I had received to Santiago, who unfolded it and frowned. Let me think. I don't don't quite remember any superior by that name. Perhaps he's one of the guests. Santiago pulled a small notebook from his pocket and flipped through it. You do not know either? 
some of the guests concern a lot about privacy. They don't really want to let others know when they go on vacation, or the paparazzi come sniffing around. All I need to know is when they're going to the island and when they're coming back, nothing else. I see. If you're hired by guests, then why not? If you're hired by guests, then why not? There's nothing wrong with the hug. So, have you ever been to Dragon Island? And how is the scenery there? Not yet. I've hesitated to buy a ticket for the circumnavigation tour. But even if I do, I can't get on the island. Doesn't sound like a good deal to me. Indeed. But those who sign up for the circumnavigation tour are young couples, and they don't care about that. Maybe when I have a date, I'll understand. Is Misty Dragon the ship I'll be on later? Yes. There are only six passengers on the list this time. Santiago pointed with, with a pen to a cruise ship parked on the end of the pier. Six including me, a lifeguard. Not many people get to go there, right? That's pretty normal. Misty Dragon has a total of 20 seats, but I've hardly ever seen it full. Except when staff members on the island took a group vacation, which happened a while ago. Isn't it too many staff for an island? Housekeeping, catering, room setup, facility maintenance. Is housekeeping and room setup different things? Keeping Dragon Island running requires no less manpower than a hotel. Can I have your phone number, please? I'd like to. It's quicker than I expected. If you need services from our company in the future, contact me for insider discount. I can never afford that. Who knows what will happen in the future? Maybe you'll get rich someday. Give me all of your money. So has anyone else arrived yet? Or do I have to wait? Oops. I was too excited chatting and forgot about that. Everyone else has already boarded the ship. It's, n it's not time to go yet, but you better get aboard. They're already here? I better board now, I don't want to keep others waiting. Bon voyage. I said goodbye to Castro and hurried over to the dock. A large, fancy-looking yacht was moored by the far end of the pier. As I walked closer, I heard several people talking loudly from on board. I unlocked my phone and looked at the time. 1.50. Not too late. Lucky me. Doesn't look like there's good reception out here near the sea. With one foot on the platform, the other foot on the deck, I suddenly felt my heart skip a beat. It's like a sign of some kind. My heartbeat suddenly accelerated, an unspeakable panic invaded in. Huh? Wow, that was a really fast quick time event. That was startling. I, I'm, I didn't have time to read what they said. I'm probably just nervous. What could go wrong with a simple gig? I carefully climbed up the gangway and leaned into the cabin doorway. It's quick time events? That's wild. There was a sudden lull in the conversation as the passengers in the cabin turned to look at me as I entered. Well then, seems we've got a full boat. Looks like we get to leave early after all, folks. Welcome aboard the Misty Dragon. I'm Captain Long Chiman. Just call me Long. His name sounds native to Sun City. But he doesn't look like any of the native dragons I've seen. Maybe his family moved here a few generations back or something. That's most of the cast, isn't it? That are their cameos. Well, that person looks like a chef? Bottom right? Not sure. The sturdy gray dragon straightened his uniform collar, produced a ticket punch from his pocket to mark my ticket, then firmly shook my hand. Bon voyage. Call me if you need anything. That wasn't the voice I did a second ago. <laughs> Leong suddenly turned to me and said, 
Just so you know, there's a seasick bag on every seat. Grab one if your stomach starts feeling weird. I picked a seat and sat down, piling my bags down next to me. The engine at the back of the boat rumbled to life. Santiago unhooked the cable tethered to the dock. The mountains near the shore began to recede at a leisurely pace. Soft music. The kind that plays on every sightseeing ferry began to play over the, <clears throat> over the radio as the six of us began our journey to Dragon Island. Is it a pretend loading screen? I think it's. I think it is. Just for the intro. Would you like some gratuitous bulge? Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I wasn't ready for that one. <laughs> Oh, mysterious bonus character. Join unforgettable summer vacation in Dragon Island. Wait, is this the trailer? Wait, is the game over? Is the demo over? The, sl the ship slowly left the shore and sailed into the calm sea. For just a second there, I'm like, I, uh, am I about to upload a 20 minute video? <laughs> like, is it over? As the waves gently splashed against the hull, everyone on board began to look at each other tentatively. Looks like everyone wants to get acquainted with each other. Two of us went straight to the deck, while the other three remained in the cabin. Maybe I'll chat with Long later and see if I can explore the cockpit. Explore the cockpit. Euf euphemism. Uh, hi everybody. How are you doing? So did that one character have to have specially tailored pants, or how they how are they managing that? Actually, was it a was it just a a cloth? It can kind of went fast, but the shape left an impact. There were three other dragons sitting in the cabin. A white feathered dragon, a bull dragon, and an eastern dragon with very familiar colors. It's like, what if, you know, w the William Adler dragon? <laughs> I should probably get acquainted with everyone while we're on the ship. If I'm going to be working on the island with them for a while, I should at least be friendly and get to know them. Speaking of which, was everyone here invited? Or was, or was one of them my employer? Anyway, if there's a bunch of random blurs everywhere, it's because I need to make a judgment call on how sussy these bulges get, Is and uh, it's just gonna be a, a thing that happens. <laughs> like, I'm looking at our main character already, and I'm like, uh, you stand still, please, because I might have to blur you the whole time, because you've... We have... We have... <laughs> we have rules about bulges, as far as, like, what is the line between suggestive art that adults share freely versus like crossing a line until okay well that's that's too much uh in our discord and this one breaks both rules which is one it has a defined bulge it's not just a shape but it has like an individual anatomy making up the parts of the bulge in the speedo but also i specifically banned dick root you can't you can't draw the root and put that in, and you can't share that. So, based on my own rules for what people are allowed to share in, disc in our Discord, I'm probably gonna need to just blur our protagonist, because he's doing both at the same time, all the time. <laughs> I'm in danger. Let's see. Let's start at the top. The white dragon was curled up in a seat, out of direct sunlight. His large wings raised to shade him from the sun as much as possible. He's got a fluffy, sunproof coat. Why is he trying so hard to avoid the sun? Thoughts of vampires flash through my mind. Uh? <laughs> Thoughts of a stuffy bedchamber with the curtains drawn tight, the icy body of that vampiric feathered dragon pressed against my back. 
His slender, snow-white arms wrapped tightly around me. Frozen in time, and perpetually young, he was forced to stand on tiptoe just to barely sink his sharp fangs into my neck. His breath, moist with blood, tickled my scales. Something hard rubbed against the root of my tail, grinding against me with the rise and fall of my panicked breath. Okay, that's getting too intense. I need to chill. I carefully made my way back down the aisle, holding onto the tops of the chairs as I passed. The white dragon raised his head and looked up at me curiously. The corners of my mouth twitched, but no sound came out. Of his mouth twitched, but no sound came out, and his hands began to fidget. Looks like I have to make the first move. Hi, I'm Henry. I'll be working as a lifeguard. A lifeguard? Well, you don't have to worry about fishing me out of the sea. Huh? Wait, do you mean you're also... If everyone else here were all lifeguards, then maybe the invitation was from some wealthy pervert with some very specific interests. That's a strong leap you've made quickly. Ah. Oh. You misinterpret. I mean that I won't be going in the water if I can help it. The white dragon slowly lowered his wings and extended a slender hand to me. I'm Black. Black Kevorkian. Nice to meet you. Wait, how old is this guy? He looks like a kid. Out of, curious, uh, bleh, out of curiosity, are you an international student? What high school are you studying at? I'll have you know I'm a junior student at university. Junior. This was some fantasy story. The sheer intensity of his aura would have blown me off my feet. I am just small for my age. Don't assume that will always be the case. Uh, right. Sorry, my bad. Black then stretched out his wings and flapped them dramatically in front of me. If these enormous wings of mine didn't suck up all my developmental nutrients, I'd likely be taller than you. Those are very we very big wings indeed, and pretty ones too. I can only imagine what you could do in the air with wings like those. These invitation letters are pretty fancy. I'm not used to getting things like these. You received a letter, too. I thought you were a staff member like the captain. I guess I'm part of the staff. Considering, uh, considering I was hired to be a lifeguard. Perhaps the letter was included so that there'd be something to attach the ticket to. Can I ask a question, then? Huh? I suppose so. Why did you get an invitation to come to Dragon Island? Do you and the organizer know each other or something? That's my own business. Before I could pull out the letter, Black's expression darkened and he drew back from me. And I don't recognize this Gordon Danup guy. I only know a Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> what? Not what you expect to sneak in here. All right, there's a canonical dragon Gordon Ramsay somewhere. Black doesn't want me to know why he's here. I guess I'll figure it out later. I wonder why these other guys were invited. Maybe I should ask around. We're going to Dragon Island. Are you sure you're not going to have some fun at the beach? Absolutely not. I don't want to get stung by a jellyfish. That's one of the seven ways to kill a vampire. He glanced away from me with a huff. There's protective net near the beach, so that should keep out the jellyfish, right? I'd rather not risk it. You seem to be hiding from the sunlight. Because I don't want to bathe in the sun. But you don't have any scales to dry out. Why? I just don't like the sun. Why? <laughs> You're being very annoying, sir. Call it force of habit. One that's hard to change. Oh. Okay. Anyway, it's none of your business. There's that intensity again. Oh, never talking to this person again. Bye. Hello, giant man. I walk towards the brown bull dragon by the window. I feel like I've seen this character before. 
He was holding a thin booklet, flipping through it and using the sunlight as a reading lamp. Noticing my approach, he tucked the booklet into his pocket before giving me a warm smile. Given your state of undress, I assume you're a lifeguard? His smile looks strangely familiar. Napoleon Kane, it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Henry, a lifeguard, and the pleasure's all mine. I don't want to sound weird, but your smile is familiar? Oh, that is weird. Have we met somewhere before? Perhaps you've seen me on television. On the ads for Mono Bakery. They are a chef. Mono Bakery? Wait, that's it. You're that Napoleon? I should have known. Every time I see you, you're in that pink apron with a smile that's nice and... Warm. Actually, I want to say something else. It warms my heart to know my smile left such an impression. It's kind of hard to miss, considering how often I've seen your ads. And don't forget our tagline. Cinnamon rolls as warm as our smiles. I wouldn't mind some hot cream filling. <gasps> or at least light, light glazing. You horny fucker. <laughs> You're a lifeguard. So, uh... Why is your bakery named Mono Bakery? Um, because cows are black and white, and I'm a bull dragon who isn't those colors. <laughs> Great name. But you're brown. Mono sounds much more distinctive. Black and white works well in terms of decorating and storefront, too. Seriously? That's all? I thought there was some deeper meaning. I mean, that takes an explanation to get out. It's not intuitive, so it feels like an extra meaning. Besides, everyone always associates cow with black and white. Obviously, there are also Swiss brown cows, but... Such a pity. The brown cows produced so much milk only to be upstaged by Holsteins. That's... Oh, Napoleon said that. Imagine the Napoleon said that. So what sort of pastry are you best at making? What? Why don't you guess? Sounds like he gets this question a lot. Glazed donut holes? Napoli... Napolitane? Ah, uh, that was more my father's specialty. It's not that I can't bake it, but I could never make it as good as his. No. My specialty is cinnamon rolls. They make people feel warm. His father named him after... Napolitane? Would his kid be named Cinnamon? Okay, for, for a second I thought I, I panicked and thought that I'd mis been misreading his name the whole time, but it is Napoleon. Perhaps I should make a tray of them for you sometime. I think I might prefer something a bit meatier than that. Vice versa, maybe. I brought a few of the sig signature cinnamon rolls from your bakery before. They're really nice with black tea. No. No, I mean a proper cinnamon roll, not those mass-produced pastries that come out of the central kitchen. Though I'll admit, those are still good. When I bake them, I not only controlled the heat better, but also added a special ingredient. The tense of the sentence changed halfway through. I'm being slightly tough on the translation, but they are charging money for this game. It's a paid game on Steam, uh, as opposed to the free being free like most free vision novels. Although that might come with it being finished already? I think it might be finished. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. But also, this is the demo, so maybe they fixed the translation between the demo and the final release. I don't know. Sometimes you, sometimes updates happen that don't reach the demo. Or all just across the board. Let me guess. Love? <laughs> no. Sorry. Moo hoo hoo, because he's a cow. Ooh. <laughs> I could just imagine Napoleon carrying a big platter of cinnamon rolls and wearing nothing but a thin pink apron over his thick bulge. Just as he raises his head to feed me a sticky, icing-covered cinnamon roll, he leans in close with that warm smile, presses a finger to my lips, and whispers, And that's all there is to it. You can try it at home. Well, it probably won't be as good as mine. Still, it'll be much tastier than something you'd buy in a store. 
Uh, looks like my fantasy has distracted me from his recipe. Whoops. Reasons to come, phrasing. Hey, did you receive a letter too? I pulled my own envelope out, and Napoleon pulled a similar one out of his pocket. I assume everyone has received one of these. Can I ask why you were invited? Ah, uh, well... Napoleon nervously clenched the hem of his shirt as he looked off to the side. I received an invitation to come on holiday. The host is one of my... Ah... Uh, let's just say he's a fan of mine. My only fan. He wanted me to make an island-inspired dessert. Napoleon, Napoleon's a celebrity baker. Black doesn't want me to know why he's here. I guess I'll figure it out later. I wonder what these other guys were invited. So it's, just, it's like an ongoing development. We're collecting and stacking the information. Well, bye. <laughs> Done talking to you. I approached the suit-clad eastern dragon, who was sitting alone by the window. Reverse psychology. They say eastern. Let's go western! Because I'm running out of voices. Everyone's just a big tough guy. Listen, I'm sorry. He was busy fretting over the parrot seated on his arm. As I came closer, he lowered the arm the parrot perched on and turned his eyes to me. Hello, I'm Henry. I'm going to be your lifeguard, I think. You think? I'm Cheng Hui from the Cheng Hui Law Firm. Glad to meet you. The parrot sidled up his arm and to his jacket pocket, then reached his head in and pulled out a business card. That's is that a jacket? Cheng Hui took the business card from the bird on his index and middle fingers, turned it up and handed it to me. Wow, your bird's amazing. His name's Polly. He's very clever indeed. Watch this. He took out an expensive looking cell phone and played a sound while expectantly watching the parrot in his hand. Welcome to Shanghai Long Form! Wow! How's that for a trick? Amazing! Out of curiosity, how long have you had Polly? Oh, he's been with me since I established my law firm. Been handing out business cards and welcoming clients. He's basically my personal assistant. Except for the part where he can't type up reports, so... He's terrible. <laughs> what a smart little guy. I reached out and gently stroked the top of Polly's head. As if in reply, Polly tilted his head and made a chattering noise at me. I've recently been teach trying to teach him how to pluck out gray hairs. I'm the dad of the group. Is it working? Not really. He's either colorblind or just prefers plucking my red hair. So what kind of cases does your firm take on? Any strange cases with twists, surprises, and turnabouts? The word that Phoenix Wright uses nonstop? I think every case in the first game is called the turnabout. I don't know if that stayed that way or not. Ha! Huh. I wish. Unfortunately, most real-life legal cases aren't as dramatic as a Grace Attorney trial. Okay, well, they're just making the reference explicitly now. Why is Gordon Ramsay named, but Ace Attorney isn't? I don't get it. I don't get how references work in games or why what motivates them to keep them the same or change them sometimes. Running a law office isn't a game, but I do my best. Having said that, I'll admit I may have chosen law school after playing the Grace Attorney Trilogy. And at my level of practice, I'm able to be a bit picky when it comes to clients. Much like the famous Grace Attorney, who only ever did clients for people that she knew in her immediate vicinity, making her a terrible lawyer. <laughs> that was a weird game. Uh, if anyone hasn't seen it, I've played Ace Attorney 1 on this channel, and you can go through that. I did it with Stephanie. It was a long playthrough, partly because of the what happens when we chat and whatnot. Uh, I think it was like 100 episodes. I feel like I made the last episode like three hours long, so I could stop right on 100 episodes or something like that. But uh, that game's long. It, it especially feels long as the last case that they added when they made the DS version of the game. 
is like half of the total duration of the game. So you're like, oh, wow, we're almost done. And then you're almost done for like 30 hours. You lower your standards a little if you never have a satisfactory case. That kind of thing hasn't happened yet. But if you have any legal problems, feel free to contact me. Though I warn you, my rate is 5,000 bucks per hour. That would blow through my entire savings in less than a minute. Per hour. Savings in less than a minute? Your savings? Your savings doesn't even have 1 60th? of $5,000? So you have less than $100, I think, is how that checks out. That's not good at all. Oh no. I wonder if he'd accept other forms of payment. Maybe he'd shove me under the desk and pull down his legal briefs. <laughs> Growling at me to be quiet as I struggle to breathe and give my oral argument because his next client will be coming up soon. <laughs> Legal briefs. <laughs> if that's the case, I wouldn't mind chatting as long as he likes. Reasons to come. If you don't mind me asking, what brings you here? Actually, I was gonna ask you the same thing. Talk. Why would I be vague? Just talk. You were hired. I applied to be a lifeguard, but my resume got and my resume got picked. Huh. Well, you won't have to worry about me. Not planning on going in the water? Please. Eastern dragons like me are natural swimmers. That's true. I'm just going there on vacation, but I didn't expect to run into a lifeguard like this. Odd thing to specify. But it's just on vacation. Is that really all there, all there is to it? Is whoever invited you to the island the same as this one? I pulled out the letter and received, I received and showed him the signature on it. Huh. Yes. That's him. He stroked his beard thoughtfully and continued. I know him. He's an old client of mine. Napoleon is a celebrity baker. Black doesn't want me to know why he's here. Shuang He is invited here on va for vacation. Same lines before. There's a particular vibe to these characters. They feel like they're, uh, they kind of feel like VTubers because of the way that they're just kind of like breathing in place. It's like, there's a slight 3D-ness to them that makes them feel like they're looking at v like, t p like 2D VTuber characters. Should I talk to? I think we're done. All right, goodbye everybody. I must visit the map. The deck, the bridge, the cabin. We're here, right? So let's go to the deck. See who's out here. Am I insane? Yep, no, that bulge goes on for like two feet. Just obliterating the entire artist apron. Okay. I'm not imagining that. <laughs> I lift the hatch and climbed onto the deck. Seeing that the other uh, two dragons I saw earlier also wanted to come outside to enjoy the sea breeze too. Also too. Whoops. The goat dragon was squinting into the distance at the sea in front of him. In fact, I couldn't tell whether his eyes were open or not. There's also a very round eastern dragon holding onto the railing and looking intently down at the water. I was actually a little worried that he'd crushed the railing with the sheer mass of his body. I walk over to the goat dragon and stood with him at the bow of the ship. He turned his head to look at me, still squinting. Are you here to see the magnificent beauty? The purest blue? With the cerulean sky and the deep ocean mingle with the horizon, too? Yeah, I, uh, came to look at the sea, too. I'm H Henry Heimlich, a lifeguard. I reached out and took his soft, fur-colored hand in mine. Fur? Co oh, covered. I'm like, what is a fur color? Brilliant red and crisp white on amber scales. Such an enthusiastic color scheme, yet so refreshing. I am... I am Katsushika Yoshihide. Or Yoshi, if you prefer. My eyes couldn't help but drift downward to his apron. 
You seem to be particularly sensitive to color. I would not say I'm sensitive, but as a student of art, I do try to cultivate an awareness of it. That's why I noticed the paint spots on his clothes. How? Wait, your clothes are all spotted with paint. But how come there's none in your hair? If she sticks out his tongue at me. Are you saying you licked? Wait, aren't those really toxic? Not in small doses. Besides, when is beauty not worth a little danger? I have lead poisoning. He's way too casual about poisoning. Did you receive a letter from the organizers too? Blah blah blah. Yes, I received one. The paper's quality is quite excellent. I shall have to see about getting some for myself for sketch work. Does the signature ring a bell? Gordon Danon. Demon? No, it doesn't. There's not an acronym there. It's a name I have not heard of. This is the first time I have received a letter from this individual. May I ask why? He said that he, as the owner of Dragon Island, wanted me to come and paint his portrait on the beach as a promotion. Napoleon's celebrity blah 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 blah. Summary. Why would he ask you to paint his portrait? Seems a little weird. Maybe he was a guest at my solo exhibition last year at the Sun City Art Museum. But I would have noticed such a name on the guest list. Perhaps Gordon Danom is an, is an alias. Why is an alias to invite people for a vacation? Perhaps it's some kind of surprise. Or perhaps he's simply shy. He really seems like a glass half full kind of fellow. Big Belly Dragon. Hello. I cautiously approached the black eastern dragon leaning against the railing. Hello. I'm Henry, your lifeguard. Oh, hello, hello. I'm Motse. He turned around heavily, his protruding belly wobbling as he extended a thick hand to me. Since you're a lifeguard, you must be a good swimmer, eh? Huh, I guess. I have gotten a lot of people pregnant. I mean, I'm good at getting... At, at, at getting drowning people to shore safely so I can do first aid. That's what life or lifeguards do. Damn, I fooled them all. I did it. I'm not a pro swimmer or anything, so don't expect me to break any speed records. Sounds like you're the kind of fella I'm looking for. Wait, you're not the mysterious employer, are you? <laughs> I wish. I just run a seafood grill at the night market. What does it have to do with... You look like you'd catch a fresh, large fish intact and keep it alive. Look, I'm the grill master, and you could be my... And you could be my gill master. <laughs> you get it, son? I'm pretty sure you can't give fish mouth to mouth. You said your grill is at the night market. Which one? The one on Old Glua Street, next to the university. Wow. I bet you must make a killing with all the students coming in. Sure. Unless it's summer vacation and they all leave. But summer break isn't for another two, another week or two, so why leave now? Eh, business always drops off in the weeks leading up to it. Besides, he stroked the hair on his stomach and grinned. Who would miss an opportunity to go to the legendary Dragon Island? There was a long line of thick, coarse hair leading from his chest down his enormous belly, like the white cap of a cresting wave. I could imagine the pressure, like the weight of the ocean. This, guy, <laughs> this guy's a lot. He's so ready. By the way, you said you were in a grill, right? Uncle Motse Seafood. Changed it from Uncle Motse Barbecue recently. Why the name change? Too many damn barbecue stalls around. Figured I could use some rebranding. Explains why I've never heard of it. Judging by your figure, I'm guessing you ain't much for barbecue, eh? 
I only had it a few times in college. Seems a bit excessive for dining alone. Tell you what, why don't you swing by my grill when we come back to Sun City? Is barbecue bad for becoming having a weightlifter bod? When we're, we're all cut and all that? I don't really know. All I know is that anybody who has anyone who's really jacked eats so much goddamn meat all the time, and it's actually wild. I don't suppose you'd give me a discount. If you can drag my fat behind out of the water, I'll let you eat for free. <laughs> the joke's on him, since he probably floats like a buoy. I'll even throw in a platter of roasted oysters free of charge. Your belly? <laughs> what a topic. Monte seemed to notice that I was quietly looking at his stomach. See something you like, eh? No, it's just that your barbecue must taste good. Hey, you know what they say. Never trust a skinny chef. It's good to judge people for genetics. <laughs> uh-huh. I ain't modest. I take pride in my work. Whether it's the ingredients, the sauces, or the cooking. Which are kind of... All one thing when you think about it. I ride my bike to the seafood market and get everything fresh every day. I make my own sauces and marinades from scratch. When grilling, I control the temperature with extreme precision so it's just right. Sounds like you work hard every day. But shouldn't that mean? Well, I have to make sure everything tastes good. So... So may I have a test... Oh, it's just, it's just a typo. So I'm- it, yeah, the words are out of order. So I may have a test skewer, or three. Out of curiosity, did you get letter two? Yeah, good thing I opened it too. I almost used it for kindling. So why were you invited here? Motse pat- slowly patted his stomach twice. I was asked to take charge of the barbecue for the beach party, of course. So whoever invited you, you should be one of the regulars, right? Yeah, probably. Does this name ring a bell? Let me think. No, not really. I don't usually pay much attention to the signatures on the checks, you know. I guess so. So Motse is a grill chef and Napoleon's a celebrity baker. Blah 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 blah. Everybody else, roll call. It's time to see the captain in the cockpit. Bye. Time to finish our tour. I entered the cockpit and, and stepped through. Leong was busy at the wheel, looking out at the water. The sun was slowly descending towards the horizon, and the sea breeze was beginning to cool. Maybe I should talk to the others while I've got time. A reminder, this is the last person to talk to then, I think? So, sir, how does it feel to work the ship? It's fine. You travel between islands a lot? Nope. So just between Dragon Island and the city then? Yep. Well, that's not bad. You get to see the sights of, on Dragon Island a lot, right? Long shrug, shrugged his shoulders and continued to look at the sea. This is a really nice ship. Is it yours? Nope. Company's property. Most captains seem eager to talk about their ships, so I figured that's stereotype. Well, this is different. You were all friendly and enthusiastic before we set out. That's taught by the company. Pre-written. Am I exploring backstage or something right now? Pay no attention to the dragon behind the curtain. Long doesn't seem to be chatty, but maybe if I keep talking, I can get something out of him. So, I guess we're technically colleagues, since we were hired by the same one? He looked at me and frowned. His ears twitched. Uh... Yep. Do you know who our employer is? How should I put this? Oh. It auto-proceeded. I don't really know much, really. I don't know really uh, know much about whoever's in charge. As they only communicate with me through paycheck, I only know... For, okay, this is, it's going... it's out of proceedings. He's, just, he's talking really rapidly while blushing, apparently. 
I'll just let this set go. One of the previous drivers started getting nosy. Sorry, I think I've said too much. That's all right, keep going. I'm not sure. He frowned again. It's the first time he hired me. So that's all I'm getting from him. That said, the whole strong yet silent type is perfectly fine if he knows how to make me scream. <laughs> Sorry, I keep periodically forgetting how horny this guy is. Although he might just fall asleep on me right afterwards. Oh well, at least I could cuddle him. Holy shit, man. You've barely spoken to these people. An island began to rise in the distance. Is that Dragon Island? Yep. Are there any other guests coming? Or are they already on the island? Dunno. Okay. Long cleared his throat and pressed a button on the dashboard before leaving, leaning over to a small upright mic. Attention all passengers, this is your captain. We are about to arrive at Dragon Island. Please return to your seats during the approach and docking at the pier. Thank you. I should get back to the cabin. Hey! <laughs> Everyone else was in their seats as I entered the cabin. Who do I sit beside? Is it time for big choice? Hmm. Hmm. I like Yoshi. The ship was a little shaky this close to the shore. I stumbled a little bit and took a seat next to Yoshi. Why aren't you at a window seat? I thought you were mesmerized by the colors of the sea and the horizon and stuff. I have captured the col th those colors in my mind's eye for posterity. Now, I can enjoy the scenery. Of course, good scenery is only made better when shared with friends. So we're already buddies. He's surprisingly forward. I like it. After that, the conversation just sort of died out, leaving us in silence. The only noise that broke the silence was the roar of the of the cruise ship's engine and the sound of waves lapping at the hull. Maybe I should put on some sunscreen, considering how sunny the island's bound to be. I opened the carry-on bag I brought with me and took out the sunscreen. A sea breeze blew in the cabin through a nearby window. Just as I closed my eyes to enjoy the cool breeze... Ah! My letter! Attention passengers, please remain calm and stay in your seat. If only you wore pants, you could put the letter somewhere. Unless it was just like sticking out of his his uh his uh speedo like a stripper. Everything happened so fast I didn't even have time to think. I lunged out of my seat towards the open window, grabbing wildly at the letter as the breeze whipped it through the air. There may be some sudden shaking and Uh sit down. All of you, get in your seats and brace for impact. Well, that's not supposed to happen. I was leaning halfway out of the open window, my legs kicking in the air as I finally grabbed the envelope. Now all I have to, all I have to, now all I have to do is pulling myself back in. Three. Whoa. Two. I almost staggered, falling out of the window. One. Shit. Brace. My body is falling while my mind is ascends. <laughs> Wait, did it say is ascends? Oh, this whole thing's auto proceeding. Right. So this is one sequence. Did I? Did I? No, my mind descends. Okay, I didn't. Ima I, I imagine that. Okay. <laughs> oh, the text is so small. Whoa. Henry. Henry. Titties. Sorry. Hey. Hey. You with us, Henry? Don't crowd around him, you idiots. Give him- give me some space to- Huh. Huh. I'm gonna go make an emergency call. I don't understand. I was following the route shown on the chart. There shouldn't have been anything to hit. There's too many voices to keep straight now. I'm losing it a little bit. The voices I could hear all around me slowly became clearer. I tried to open my eyes, but I winced at the sting of salt water. Ooh. Something warm pressed into the side of my neck, like the fingers of a fluffy paw. I opened my mouth wide and tried to breathe, only to feel a rush of hot liquid escape my mouth as I coughed and sputtered. 
He's awake. My brain swam back into lucidity as oxygen refilled my my lungs. Black was on my on one side, helping me up and slapping my back hard. You're finally awake. Any later and I'll have to start doing CPR on you. I shouldn't find that sexy, but... You're so... You almost died, man. You're lucky, Shuang Hu. I'm so sorry. Uh, finished... Uh, fished you out of the sea. Your lungs weren't completely full of water. You were spitting water like an eastern dragon. Now I'm soaked. Uh, thanks. Great. Not even my first day and I almost drowned. Not a good sign for a lifeguard. Well, seems he won't be going anywhere for now. Let's look around and see if I can find some place to stay until we're rescued. Wrong Hood uh, held out his hand to me. You coming with us? Before I could respond, Black slapped Chang's hand and glared at him. He just woke up. Let him rest. All right, if you insist. You just take a break for now, okay? You been drinking or something? If anyone had gotten injured. Hey, don't blame him. I was the one not staying in my seat. It's not that. The damn ship ran straight into a reef and cracked like a creme brulee. We're shipwrecked. This shouldn't have happened. I, I was following the normal course, but I didn't re expect a reef to be there, and I tried to avoid. You had so much time to call out a countdown for the fact that you're going to hit it? Wait, can we just call and have the Coast Guard pick us up? I already tried that. There's no cell service out here. Napoleon held the phone up to me. That's a lot of 911s. Once per minute, over and over again. been walking up and down this entire beach and couldn't get a bar. Wait a minute. There's a satellite phone on the ship. I'll call the mainland and have them send a ship back up uh, to pick us up. They come. They have experience in dealing with these kinds of things, so they'll be able to handle it. And I'll go with you. Uh, alright. Young slumped dejectedly and began walking towards the pier... Napoleon close behind. And there's a missing person. Well, that's not... I was expecting a greeting to the island, but instead we crashed. So that's how this got started. But yeah, if you want if you want to check out the rest of this game, you can check it out in the description. That's going to be it for today. This one definitely seems to be low on plot and heavy on... Uh, heavy on the dating sim elements given the introduction. But that actually might not be true. Let me double check the, the page for this game. Henry Heinlich, an ordinary lifeguard, suddenly received a letter of employment from Dragon Island. Together with six other dragons, he got a cruise ship to the island. But until they boarded the island, they had no idea what they were about to face. In the game, use different maps to move freely about the island, hanging out with everyone to chat with them. Don't forget to check your phone. It'll be updated as you explore the island. Every evening, everyone will gather together for some intense and exciting activities, such as debating. Do rem <laughs> Debating! Do remember to attend. During free exploration, you will also encounter some unexpected small tasks. Completing them will help you earn friendships from the dragons. So, activities such as debating, I wonder. Okay, the Steam reviews say Danganronpa 2, but with dragon guys. Is there a murder mystery in this game? <laughs> Wait, what does that mean? I guess there must be going off of the debate part of it. Oh, okay, the screenshots say stuff like suspicion point. Okay, I'm curious what the comparisons are coming from. Reviews say Danganronpa and Steam says this game is similar to Ace Attorney. And I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> wait, where's this game going? I don't, I don't know. Huh. Well, you're welcome to find out, everybody. <laughs> I'll see you next time. <laughs>